everybody. Hope you're all doing great. It's been a little while since I made a video, but I'm hoping to start making these uh, blogging style videos now where I'm going to make a video and show you guys what I do in the reptile room, how I work with my Fantasticus, my Hank Kelly's, my Leechies. Should be really cool. If you're wondering why I look so tired, I'm looking at myself here. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely a little tired. Religiously, I am a Baha'i. I'm not sure if you've heard of the Baha'i faith, but I will certainly be talking about it in the future just to share a bit about what I believe. But Baha'is um, actually have a period of fast, of fasting. So that actually started March 2nd and it goes till the 20th. It's a 19 day period of fasting. Basically what it entails is that you don't eat or drink from sunrise to sunset. So while the sun is down, you can eat, drink what you like, but uh, as long as the sun is up, you do not eat or drink anything. And so it's it's meant to be a time of physical detachment, to reflect, pray, enrich, and uh, bring yourself to be more spiritual. I actually enjoy it. And I mean, I love eating. I definitely start to miss the food, but hey, I can eat again. It's basically missing a meal in the middle of your day and you just can't drink water, which is probably the worst part. But that being said, I find it goes relatively well, and yeah, that's me right now. Otherwise, things in the reptile room are good. For now, I'm going to show you guys uh, a few fans today, uh, some of my breeders, just for fun. We'll take a look at a few. I'd like you guys to throw in any questions you, you have, things you want to learn about, things you want in next videos, in the comment section below, and we'll go from there. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just put them in a container so you could see them better. But here we have one of my breeding pairs of U Fantasticus, the Satanic Leaf Tail Gecko, Madagascar. So, right away, you're going to notice a huge difference between a male and female. But that being said, these aren't the key differences. Uh, the one on the left there, that's the female, and the male's up there. This is one of my favorite males, actually. You can kind of see why. His color is insane. Uh, it's not really showing, but he's actually quite red as a base color. And then he has all the, like, lichen and, you know, mossy prints and spots. And this female is quite nice. As you can see, she's sitting in a dead leaf right now. She mimics leaf litter quite well. You can see that her body and she has the spots. They're really just incredible animals. And she may very well be gravid with him already. Uh, they've been together for a while and she's looking pretty plump. That being said, there are a few ways people say you can sex these guys. Notice the tail on the female. No notches. So little uh, divots or little, uh, you know, looks like a insect bit into it. Like the male you see here. This is one way of uh, trying to sex the animals, but generally speaking, it's not very effective. I have several females in my collection that have these notches, so I don't use that method. What I like to use is the uh, the <laughs> gangster tear or little uh, teardrop under the eye. I joke because you know you got like the gangsters that put their they go to prison and put their teardrop on a tattoo under the eye. Um, but you notice here this male has a white mark under his eye. Female here has no such mark. See the tear, the mark? And of course there's the obvious, just like most reptiles. You can look at them ventrally here. Look at their cloaca. You notice the female, you see the pores. Nothing really, quite flat. Compared to the male, 
who has a prominent hemipenal bulge. So I won't mess with these guys too much. Uh, I don't handle my Europlatus Fantasticus that much. Whenever I take photos and such for my Instagram account, which you should totally check out, I'll put a link in the description. It's when I'm handling my animals more or less out of necessity. I do checkups, you know, I have to hold my animals, check on their health, etc. And that's when I like to take a bunch of pictures when I'm doing it all at once, so then I can post occasionally to share with you all. So that's one pair. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, and I think we'll leave it at that for today. Just kind of gives you some sexing there. Also, you get to see some pretty sweet animals. So guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna be showing you guys, you know, more of my animals in the future. So in the comment section below, please do tell me what it is you'd like to be seeing next. You know, if you have questions, video tutorials, etc., I'd be happy to make videos about those topics and um, show you guys, show you guys some more pretty awesome animals. Theoplatus fantasticus are a incredible animal that I'm very passionate about. Very happy to be keeping these guys. Uh, you can see they're not very large. He just jumped back into the container there. Of moss. Anyhow, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, till next video sometime this week. We'll wrap that up. Cheers. Yeah.